don't have one yet, you are missing out. I'm talking about the EDC Mac Daddy, the Sultan of Slash, the Spyderco Para 3. For all of you diehard subscribers and channel members, you may have remembered a similar video that I've done on this knife over a year ago talking about the three reasons why I think that you should have a Spyderco Para 3. And since then, the channel has exploded. I've gotten better at doing these videos. The quality has gone up. My ability to get my point across has improved. And yet, that video still remains one of the top three most popular videos on my channel. So today, I'm going to open Pandora's box. I'm going to talk about three more reasons why you should buy the Spyderco Para 3. Let's check it out. Guys, guys, <clears throat> listen, I am so excited to do this video again. It was a lot of fun and it was a bit of a passion project of mine about a year ago. It's been more than a year, about, what is it, a year and a couple months? Yeah, it's been a passion project of mine to talk about just how awesome the Spyderco Para 3 really is. Now, the fact of the matter is, is that this video is for a couple different kinds of people. The first person that it's for is the person who saw the thumbnail and immediately thought to themselves, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go raid the comments section and let them know that they created a gas station knife. And the second person that it's for is the person that's on the fence. The person that has seen so many good reviews for Spider Co's and says to themselves, you know what? I just don't like it. I'm going to go consider a overpriced Benchmade instead. So yeah, that's who it's for. And you know what? It's also for the person that owns a Spyderco Para 3 and just wishes that they got more limelight today here in 2023. With that being said, today I'm going to give you the goods. We're going to bring the heat because the last time I made this video, my video production wasn't very good. I was not as good at, at getting my point across as I am now. And a lot of things have changed in the last year. So I hope to do it some justice because the prior video is one of my most popular and I really wanna show people what I'm capable of here. Let's go ahead and talk about three more reasons why you should buy a Spyderco Para 3. And by the way, if you are interested in the modifications that I've done to this one, wait till the end of the video, I will tell you exactly where you can find them. So let's start off with the first one. And the first one is, it's going to address the elephant in the, in the room. You might be thinking to yourself, Rolshambo, why should I believe anything you said? Because you basically took the knife and completely modified it past its stock point. And that's true, I have indeed modified that, but that is my first point, and that is that the Spyderco Para 3 happens to be one of the most, if not the most, modifiable knife that you can currently buy. And when I say modifiable, I mean for the average person, not for the person that you know owns a belt grinder and can do some you know crazy regrinds. I'm not talking about the person that has the capability of 3D printing their own scales, although shout out to you if you can do that. Uh, all of these modifications on this knife are mods that you can currently buy. And some of you are looking at this and are getting a bit triggered because you're like, oh, there's a retention ring and what is that thing on the blade and why is the hardware purple? Chill out for a second. Let me go ahead and explain what I've done here on this one. First and foremost, I have these titanium scales that have been custom engraved by DNA Lasering. I will make sure to link his stuff down below. They will not be affiliate links. The retention ring is uh, also known as a karambit ring, and this is from Wiseman Company. Uh, they sell these, it's called the Signet Ring, and they sell these. This will fit on a paramilitary too as well, but honestly, I think that it fits better on a para three. It makes the paramilitary too a little bit long for my purposes. These purple powder coated screws 
are titanium as well. And that actually helps me when I take this knife apart. If you've ever taken a knife apart so many times to maintenance it that you end up stripping one of the screws, well, titanium screws don't strip as easily or at least not as easily for me. And so that's the reason behind that. And then finally, this doodad here on the blade is called a pickpocket. It's made by 5x5 five five Combat Solutions and it serves one purpose. And that is to be the quickest way to deploy a folding knife that currently exists. What this does is it bolts on to the spidey hole and then it makes it so anytime you pull it out of your pocket, it deploys rapidly because it catches the side of your pocket and deploys. And there's two ways you can do that. You can actually pull up on this ring with your index finger and it'll deploy it in the reverse grip or you can actually put your pinky finger in there, pull it out of your pocket and it'll deploy in a regular grip. And so that actually leaves a lot of possibility and opportunity for this to be an amazing modification to your knife because it means that not only can you open your knife one handed, but you can do it without any other movement other than pulling it out of your pocket, which to use it, you have to do anyways. Why not have it available at the flick of a wrist? Let me show you how that operates. Now that's not the only thing that I've done to this knife. I've also included a MXG deep carry pocket clip. And guys, MXG is, well, they make probably one of the most attractive Spyderco replacement deep carry clips uh, that you can currently buy. Uh, Feel free to disagree with me. Lynch Northwest also makes some good ones. Uh, MXG, as far as I can tell, based on my research, is in fact an American-made company. And this is, of course, a bent titanium pocket clip as well. So I've got the full titanium get up with the retention ring and the 5x5 five five combat solutions pickpocket. And it makes it so that I can get a good grip on it and pull it out of my pocket whenever. Because of the additional length that this signet ring employs, uh, this deep carry clip is nice because then I only have the ring sticking out of the pocket, which is perfect for being able to pull it out and deploy it and not have too much of it showing. If it wasn't a deep carry clip, you'd have way too much sticking out of your pocket. And yeah, I'm just not trying to live that life. That is reason number one. Let's talk about the second reason. And that is that Spyderco quite simply has the best factory heat treat on their blade steels uh, on a consistent basis for a manufacturer that makes a lot of knives and sells a lot of knives. Uh, Spyderco is typically coming in a one to two HRC points higher than uh, everybody else. It's because Spyderco actually does a proper heat treat on them, and so it has extremely good edge retention. For those of you who have Spydercos, you feel free to, to blast it out in the comment section, but you know what I'm talking about. These hold an edge longer than just about anything. This particular pair of three comes with the stock S45 VN steel. And it, this is an amazing steel, especially for an American made knife. Having the ability to not have to worry about sharpening your knife very often is nice. It's nice because if you're going to use and carry the knife on a daily basis, you don't wanna to have to sharpen it all the time. I personally enjoy sharpening my knives, which brings me to another point in this category, and that is, with a proper heat treat, you can get a scary good edge on these. Check out this cut test real quick. As you can see, I put a mirror edge on this knife and that's fantastic, not only because it looks good, but also because it makes this knife even more slicey than it was to begin with. I can really appreciate that, and knives that are properly heat treated do tend to sharpen up better, and they do take 
polished, especially mirror polished edges a lot better than knives that don't have a proper heat treat protocol. And then finally, the last reason, and this is a big one guys, uh, these are still reasonably priced, okay? They are 100% reasonably priced. You can currently get one of these for around 150 to 175 bucks, and that's impressive. Have their prices gone up over the years? Sure, but they account for inflation, and not like other American-made companies like Microtech and Benchmade, who have gone absolutely bananas with their pricing recently. If you don't believe me, go ahead and feel free to check out some Benchmades. Spyderco makes so many different variants of the Para 3 that it's not even funny. You can get one with FRN handle skills. You can get one with titanium handle skills. You can get them in a ton of different blade steels like S30V, S35VN, S45VN, Maximit. I've seen these in M390 and I would not be surprised if you actually started seeing these in MagnaCut in the future to come. That would be pretty darn cool. These are just three more reasons why you should buy a Spyderco Para 3. And maybe you already have one. If you do, pat yourself on the back because you, my friend, are not only supporting the American economy, but you have one sweet knife. And whether or not you modify this or not, the Para 3 is great, even in its stock format. If you're wondering why I took my knife to the max and modified absolutely everything but the lock and the blade, the answer is, is because this knife gave me the potential to create the perfect knife for me. As it turns out, this is a knife that if I keep on my desk, I will in fact carry it every day. And because I enjoy carrying other knives as well, sometimes I have to send this into hibernation deep in a corner somewhere. Otherwise, this would in fact be the only knife that I carry on a daily basis. On my live streams that happen every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, people do ask me if you could only carry one knife for the rest of your life, which one would it be? The answer to that question is emphatically the Spyderco Para 3, more importantly, this Spyderco Para 3. Now, I did mention at the beginning of the video that I would tell you where you could find all of these modifications, and you can find them linked in the description down below. None of them will be affiliate links, but I encourage you, if you have a Para 3, go ahead and modify it. You don't have to go absolutely crazy like I did on this one. You could 100% make it more tame. You could add titanium scales that don't have engraving. You could add a different uh, deep carry clip. You could do a whole lot with your Spyderco Para 3. I encourage you not just to make it your own, but to make it perfect. And if you want to see more awesome knife content, make sure you click on one of the videos that pops up next.